Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind My Aries friends, I went through your whole reading and as my um, my computer sometimes does, my camera, it didn't record the audio. So <clears throat> I left the cars down here because I'm not going to do it again. Um, but this is the you versus them reading. Okay. So we're going to go through the reading again um, and just to... <laughs> I hate when the cards are already laid out, but I mean, it takes a lot of energy to do this. So anyway, we're going to jump right into it. This is for Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, okay? So the card I pulled from you, for you from the past was the Queen of Swords here, okay? This was you definitely cutting someone off. Okay, feeling like you weren't receiving the truth from this individual um, and that you weren't being treated right, of course. Air energy is like you had a lot of time to think about what has transpired between the two of you and it wasn't good. Okay, you separated from this person as a queen of swords. For this individual in the past, we have a knight of cups, very inconsistent energy. Okay, they may love you one day, but you know. <clears throat> The thing about the Knight of Cups does not mean that it's, you know, all love and, and rainbows all the time. It's just an emotion, okay? And very in and out emotions, okay? So they can be in love with you one day and then you do something that they feel like is a slight and all of a sudden you feel like they can't stand your freaking guts, okay? So that is what was going on with them in the past. Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy here. Now, where you are currently is a Queen of Wands. Definitely standing in your power, feeling confident, um, not allowing anybody to step over your boundaries, not feeling like you got to do any goddamn thing to please somebody, okay? That is where you are right now. This is like the Empress energy here with these two queens, being every woman or every man, if you're a man watching this, okay? Doing it all feeling confident while doing that. Now, what's currently going on for them is the Wheel of Fortune here. Now, a lot of changes have ensued in this person's life since you were last with them. Okay. And at this point, this person's having a lot of um, ups and downs. I feel like they're more up right now because at this point, you know how with the Knight of Cups, they kind of go from being in love with you to acting like they can't stand your guts? Well, they're back to being in love with you, okay? Whether they've been stalking your social media accounts, just seeing the good things that you've been doing or seeing how good you guys are looking, what have you, they're back on loving you, wanting you here with the Wheel of Fortune energy, okay? So again, we could have a Pisces individual, I feel. Also Sagittarius, quite possibly. Now, <clears throat> what's influencing your current situation right now is the Seven of Wands, blocking shit out, establishing your boundaries again, not allowing people to just do you any kind of way. Take your kindness for weakness. Take you for granted. That sort of thing. Very Leo energy. You guys are really standing in your truth um, and feeling confident again while you're doing this shit, okay? You're doing the damn thing right now. What's influencing them is the Empress, you. You are influencing them. Because again, they see you as every woman. They see you as the ideal mate here wanting to start over with you, want to grow with you, feeling like you were the one that that they, they let get away, basically, with the Empress energy. Could be a Taurus individual, Libra as well, um, that is significant for some of you. Now, what's coming in for you is a tower. Some very shocking news is coming in for you. But I see you here with the Seven of Wands. Um, 
not being truly phased or at least not showing that you are. Because again, I feel like this person has always done things to try to get a rise out of you one way or the other. They've had you on an emotional roller coaster in the past. I don't see you falling for that shit anymore. Okay. This news is not going to be so shocking because again, here we are. I'm telling you this. This person is coming. Okay. This person is definitely coming to contact you to ask you for another chance. Okay, now what's coming in for them is the Ace of Pentacles. This is what's going to be so shocking for you because the Pentacle is something that's solid, that is stable, that is grounded, that is a really um, good offer. Okay, and I think that's what's going to be kind of shocking for you because um, the Pentacle is not a cup. Emotions, you know, they come and go. This is something you can hang your hat on here. This is definitely something that's going to, um, you know, help you to lower your guard a little bit. Because I think when this person comes, it's, um, you'll see a different them. Definitely, I feel. You will definitely see a different side of this person that you haven't seen before. Um, they're bringing something different to the plate right now because they see a different you. Okay. Now, the outcome for you guys is the Ace of Swords here. The truth. See, you're seeking, you've been seeking the truth. That's all you really wanted. No bullshit. Not only will you hear the truth from this person, but you'll be able to speak your truth to this person, whatever that means for you. If you felt like this person walked all over you before and you really didn't have a voice in a relationship, your time is coming, my friends. It's coming. Now, when I was shuffling the outcome for them, three cards flipped over here. The Six of Wands, the Moon, and the Five of Cups. This person's coming to tell you just how they feel for you. If you had any question about that before, they're coming to tell you just how they regret what they've done, how they handled the situation with you, how they hurt you. They're coming to spill the freaking beans to you. And they're coming because that is the only way. This person knows this is the only way they have a chance in hell with you. So it's coming, okay? So again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, Leo energies here, any air energy I feel, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Taurus, any earth energy I feel, um, basically all the signs, it could be any sign here. Okay, guys, so that is what I have for you guys for the 19th through the 26th, and I will be speaking with you soon. I am so sorry that you guys didn't get to see me shuffle um, and pull the cards out. Okay, so um, talk to you soon. Bye now. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see the real and fake who's down for me. The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?